Keys here. I'm just talk about how to pick the essentials. What I've realized is when I talk to people, most of the people recognize they carry too much. I see this all the time on bench bikes or bikes are stacked up. You can always tell. Hey, if you've ever watched anybody doing like the uh, the Gringo Trail from uh, all the way from Alaska all the way down to the tip of Argentina, what you can recognize is what direction they're heading. If they are on their way going from the north to the south, their bike will be very heavily laden with stuff. They're going from the south to the north. By the time you see them here, their bikes are quite empty. They realize very quickly that all of that weight, all that extra stuff is not really that important. And, and it takes a while to sort that out. And I want to help you guys speed that process up. So the hard part is what is actually essential? What is really important to you? Uh, I'll give you some processes on how to do that and the process I went through uh, personally to come up with those ideas. Also, hard and soft luggage is something that comes up. Which one's better? We think about things like security, safety, um, injury, how much uh, you know, damage may occur to the bike if we go down. These are all things that are real, genuine concerns, and there is not a correct answer on which one's uh, which one is the best choice? I've traveled with both soft and I've traveled with hard and for different reasons. Uh, talk about luxury or light packing. I land somewhere in the middle. I'm not a minimalist. It's not a credit card and a one pair of pants. And I'm not a guy that brings everything. So this is kind of a, a middle ground what I have here. Uh, I have a two plus 